Hello my friends, welcome to the second part of Don Mandela painting tutorial video. My name is Patricia. If you clicked on this video and you didn't see the first part, the link is available on the card above. Now we are going to finish this beautiful mandala. Your feedback is very important to me and I will take it into account to keep my videos always improving. Enjoy and gratitude! To continue, open the compass at 11 cm. I'm using acrylic tool number 4. The process is repeated. You will open the compass at 14 cm to make the fourth base of the petals. In the third and fourth circles, each petal has 8 layers of dots. With a fine brush, I made two lines, the first being thicker and the second thinner. If you don't want to work with the brush, you can use acrylic paint pens. Open with the large compass at 21 cm. After drying, use the beveled brush to paint the edges, but it may be the brush that adapts you best. The edges need to be painted more often. I repeated the painting three times.
Acrylic Tool Number 4. Tool number 3. After making the first dot, use the tool with the thinnest side to move the paint slowly. Tool number 2. Tool number one and continue on the other side in the same way. Open the compass at 20 and a half centimeters. Acrylic tool number two. Open the compass at 19 centimeters. We will serve as guidance for the details. With the fine brush, it starts with a greater pressure at the beginning and it makes the hand lighter at the end. It's interesting to train first on cardboard to get practice. Acrylic tool number 7, with a fine tool, spread the paint that has accumulated in the center. After the center dries, apply the varnish and let it dry well. Glue the cabochon and your mandala are ready to decorate and harmonize your home with the energy of colors. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe and receive more like this. If you have any questions, let me know.